Hi, welcome to the 21st Hammer Tutorial. This is the 300 subscriber special. The 300 subscriber was Jason. And we're going to go over some unfun parts of mapping here called optimization. It's going to be a couple part tutorials, so stick around and watch them all. The first part, we're just going to go over some simple stuff, console commands, and some, you know, theory on how the compile process works. So I'm going to load up my map that I created. Alright, when we join up, a good thing to have on is NetGraph. It lets you see your FPS and out rates, choke, whatever you want to see. So what I have here is just some cylinders, a little pool of water, um, you know, textures, some animated dogs behind a wall, and behind a door we also have some more dogs that are being animated. Alright, and what we're going to focus on here is how the game renders. So, during the compile process of VViz, the game fills the area with basically brushes. And these brushes are not solid, and they're called leaves, or viz leaves. And to see these, you need SVT1 on, and you type in mat leaf viz1. Now you'll see wherever you're standing, there's a red box around you. And now what this red box means is, any area that can be seen by this red box is rendered. And, as you can see, this box is ginormous. So, anything this box can see is being drawn. And that's pretty much everything right now. So, what we want to do is we want to be able to use these correctly and cut down on stuff that's not being drawn. When you compile your map with VViz, it does its best job to get this done. But we still have to do some grunt work on it and get it working perfectly. But what we're going to focus on here is just getting down um, some Viz leaves because you don't want to have too many of them. Like, you want to have a lower number of them, because if you do this correctly, your map will compile faster, it will play faster, and it'll be overall better. So, certain things, like these cylinders here, if I crouch in front of one, you'll see that every time the cylinder changes a face, a little brush is drawn. A little viz leave, I mean, is drawn. And this is bad, you don't want this. These cylinders, obviously, are not significant enough to block our sight. And this is where we start getting into Funk Detail. Funk Detail is what you use on something when it's not significant enough to block your sight, or it's a complex brushwork, and you don't want it to cut viz leaves. Like these, they're complex, and they don't block our sight. So we'd want to make these a Funk Detail. And some other things would want to be a Funk Detail that you normally wouldn't think of. Like, I would Funk Detail the, the walls to this pool, because they don't block your sight, there's no way they can block your sight. So I would make those Funk Detail. And you can go over here, and you'll see that now that I'm with, when I'm standing in this one, it can still see pretty much everything, because it's all the way up top. And one more thing that we're going to go over, this is the biggest mistake, is if you no clip, you can tell a lot of people, they surround their map in Skybox. This is bad. See, I'm outside the map right now, walking around on the Skybox. I'm actually going to go under, yeah, I could go under my map. But yeah, I'm outside the map. And you'll see that the viz leave, this viz leave can't see everything because there is a wall there. So the area is not being drawn. But I'm surrounded in skybox here. And this is bad. This makes extra viz leaves, longer compile time. And if someone finds a way out of your map, they can walk around down here. And that's bad. What we're going to go over today is how to fix all this stuff. So it's not bad. Alright, now we're in Hammer Editor. And... First thing that we're going to fix is this skybox. As you can see, I have the skybox surrounded the whole area. First thing you want to do, you want to delete that. You want to make that go bye-bye. That doesn't need to be here. But you do want to select your skybox section. So bring it back so I can grab it and delete it. And you can see that I have raised up areas over there to add an effect. And all I want to do is I want to make a brush on top of the entire map basically the skybox. I want to seal the map in with skybox without doing a whole brush around it. So I want to make the skybox textures, I mean the skybox brushes, fit to the top of my map or wherever you could see sky. So that's what I'm doing right now. You don't want to have your skybox brushes clip into other brushes. You want to do that as minimally as possible. And of course you'd want to create one big texture over the top usually to seal it in. And another thing that we're going to go over is leaks. In there, you saw the water was perfectly fine. 
We'll go over leaks in the next tutorial, actually. Just keep creating your skybox texture. Then I gotta clip this so it will fit. And there we go. Our map is now sealed in Skybox. No problems there. So that's a super easy thing that you can do to help your map. Now as we saw with these, they were cutting a lot of viz leaves. Simplest thing to do to fix this is you select it, you hold down control and press T, and it makes it a funk detail. The default entity is a funk detail unless you change it in your options. You just go around and you press control T on everything that you want to make a funk detail. And if you select multiple items, you can make, like now those are conjoined as one. So then, Let's press apply and OK, and now those are funk detail. We just optimized our map a little bit. It's not much because this map is small, but if you do this on a larger scale, it helps a lot. Now I'm going to go back into Counter-Strike, and you can see the changes that it did. All right, we're back in Counter-Strike now, and you'll see the map looks exactly the same. Like, even though we know that we changed it a little bit, the map looks the same. So, and there's less... Uh, there's less waste of space with the skybox. And if we input that command in console again, the mat leaf viz one, we'll now see that these cylinders no longer cut the, the viz leaf, which means that it's shorter to compile and better gameplay. And also, it's the same with these. They do not cut the viz leaf. So I mean that's that's one really simple thing that you can do right off the bat all the time to uh to help you with uh, optimization on your map. I hope that this has helped you because this is the most used form of optimization is the funk detail. We'll go over some other, the second most used form, which is hit and skip. We'll go over that in the next tutorial and we'll just keep working on optimization. All right, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.